Saltburn, a small quiet seaside village on the east coast of northern England. It may not have the rattle dazzle of Whitby, but it is a nice place to enjoy the local fish and chips or take a pleasant stroll along the pier. A popular place for tourists to spend a warm summer's day. But today Saltburn will receive a different kind of visitor. A Martian visitor from Mars. Morning, Scooby Joe. Have fun fishing. Good morning, Timmy Lad. <laughs> Morning, Mary Lou. Morning, Timmy. Morning, Mr. Harris. Can't stop now. I'm going to see the professor. Good morrow, young Timmy. You're just in time for a wonderful day of stargazing. Day, Professor? You big silly. How are you going to see the stars in the daytime? Why, you can see everything better during the day, Timmy. Here, take a look. But to view the star, I've used science to invent this special day to night lens converter. That's amazing, Professor. Sure is a wizard invention. Hmm. Seems like an awful lot of science to go to. Why does stargaze at night? Why, you know I like to spend my evenings with my all-time favorite gal, Mary Lou. Ain't she a peach? It's not all science, science, science. Now let's get back to the science. And let us wonder at the wonders of the universe. You see all those stars up there in the sky, Timmy? No. Yes. There are over 150 stars up there in the universe. Jinkies, there sure is a whole lot of stars, Professor. It sure is, Timmy. It sure is. Now let's see if we can find the largest planet in our solar system. Mars. Mars is my favorite! Fish it! Hmm, there seems to be a large moving star heading right for us. Wait a minute, that's no star, it's a meteor, and it's huge! But Professor, it's just a little, uh... Brace for impending impact, Timmy! Hey, oh. Looks like the meteor wasn't as big as you thought, Professor. Hmm, the telescope must have magnified the appearance of its size somehow. How very strange. Yes, well, anyway, size isn't everything, Timmy. It still requires scientific study. Gee whiz, Professor, Scuba Joe is going fishing down there. Doing fishing. I sure hope it's okay. Let's gather our things and head down there, Timmy. Science is afoot. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, what in God's name is happening to me? Oh, no! <laughs> see the moon and everything, and Scurvy Joe is mutating into some kind of mutant. <laughs> There's so much science happening today. Scurvy Joe! Scurvy Joe! Where is he, Professor? Looks like he, or it, has headed out to sea. Look. Look, Professor! It's the meteor! It's split wide open like a cream scone, and it's filled with some kind of space cream, too! We'll have scones for Elevenses, Timmy. Here, let's get a sample. Go on, stick your finger right in there, Timmy. Don't be shy. But shouldn't we test it first? It could be radioactive. Nonsense, Timmy. Just wash it off in this bucket. There you go, my young ward. Good as new. Hmm. I wonder why Scurvy Joe uses carrots as bait. Leap lizard, Professor! Look! Holy HP Lovecraft sauce, Professor! What the heck did it turn Scooby Joe into? Well, whatever it is, it's big and weird. And it smells like fish. Is it a big weird fish, Professor? Maybe, Timmy. Just maybe. And it looks like it's heading to Whitby. Whitby, Professor? You know, Timmy, Whitby. Let's head back to the lab. If we're going to catch this thing, we're going to need to do some science to make a suitable weapon. We'll warn the constable in Whitby what's coming his way, and then... To Whitby, Timmy! To Whitby! Whit fascinating. Simply fascinating. This meteor cream seems to have fused with the bait in Scurvy Joe's bucket, mutating Scurvy Joe into a fishy-based mutant. Woo! Don't touch that, Timmy! It's highly radioactive! God only knows what it'll do to you! Get some safety gear on, lad. I'll ring the police. You got it, Professor! Whitby Police. Whitby Police calling. Whitby Police, come in. Over. Come in. Over. Okay. Hello. Put me through to Whitby Police. This is an emergency. A mutant is coming your way. Hello, Whitby Police Station. Sergeant Hooker at your service. Ah, hello, Professor. How can I help you today? You haven't been reanimating the dead again, have you? <laughs> Seriously, don't. You know what happened last time. 
What's that? Scurvy Joe's been infected with a Martian meteor, and it's transformed him into a hideous mutant, and it's heading right here to Whitby? Well, I won't stand for any nonsense like that. Don't worry, Professor. I'm well equipped to deal with a situation like this. Cheerio, Professor. And I thought the chances of anything coming from Mars are a million to one. They said... Huh. Okay then, Timmy. Let's do some science. To be continued.